Hey guys, Bolt Action Reviews 19 here yet again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a woodland striped camouflage. So uh, the colors you're going to need are some sort of primer. I prefer white primer. Uh, you're going to need some sort of OD green. So I got a satin green. Um, need some brown. I got lightish brown satin. And something darker. So I got some dark gray almost brown. Now note that all these colors are flat except for the gloss, which is primer. So first thing we're going to do is take the primer and we're going to do an even coat all around the gun. We're just going to do one side first. Make sure that you cover all parts that you don't want to be covered in paint with masking tape, like the orange tip, for safety reasons. Um, the selector switch, the trigger, anything you need. So we're going to go right into it. A nice even coat along the whole entire gun. Well, the primer's done, now we're going to wait about 10 to 15 minutes for that to dry, come back and start the next layer. Now, before that, we, uh, before we leave for a minute, we show you the stencils you're going to need. You're going to need some sort of leaves. Now, what I did is I took some from that bush, I just picked it right off and put masking tape around it together. And you're going to need some sort of maple leaf stencil. I cut this out of cardboard, you can just print it off uh, the internet and put it on cardboard, cut it out, or you can grab just any old maple leaf. So these are the actual stencils. We'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, now we're gonna do the first coat of actual paint. We're gonna start with the green. Now that the primer is dry to the touch, we're ready to go. Now you're gonna take the OD green, you're gonna give it a solid layer. So, yep, that's a perfect color. Here we go. All right, you want to get all those white spots, make sure everything's covered, including the bottom and the top rail. Okay, now we're going to let that dry for about 15, 20 minutes, same exact thing. And we'll be back shortly. All right, so now we're going to start using the stencils to actually camouflage. This coat, we're going to start with the brown. Now, we have two different stencils right now. We have the maple leaf and these leaves. So we're going to start with the maple leaf first. You're going to want to have eight going around, along the whole entire gun. You're not going to put the actual leaf just around the corners. So just like this, get a good shot of the gun right here. Place it on it. Some up here. One more. I think that's good. Just put one more right in the middle. Now, you don't want to cover the whole entire gun with the maple leaf because you're also going to have to do tan later. Now we're going to start with this. There, that should be good. Alright, 
Now we're gonna wait for that to dry and then we're gonna come back with the gray. All right guys, now we're gonna start the second to last coat with our dark, no, more like light gray, almost brown. Now just real quickly before we start, right here, I kind of fucked up, didn't put the maple leaf. If anything happens like that, be happy that it's not the last layer because you can cover it up quickly with the next layer of paint. So that's gonna be the first thing that we're gonna do right here. Same thing that we did before, just the, ooh, just with a different color. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, here we go. Flip that a little bit. Put the other end. One more right there. All right, as you can see, the camo's starting to come together along the whole entire gun. Um, we do some on the top rail right here. There. Now, the last thing that we're gonna do is this again, but with the original color, with the original green color, because. You always want to have the first color coming out the most. All right, we'll be back in about 15 to 20 minutes to let this dry. All right, now we're going to start the final coat. We're going to go back to the OD green, and we're just going to finish it up because we've got a little bit too much black, a little bit too much brown. You don't have enough of the original layer that we just had. So you don't need as much as you need with the other ones, but just where there's not enough green, like right here, right here. Here and here. Some more right here will be fine. And yeah, I think that we are finished. We're gonna come back once this dries, show you a before and after, and we'll be back in about 15 to 20 minutes. Alright guys, so the paint job is now finished. We have a woodland camouflage. Um, we covered all the parts that we didn't want to get uh, painted. The orange tip inside of the magazine. The inside where you get to see the gearbox. So now we're going to show you before and after. Here's the gun. Final product. Looks amazing. Great job, I do say so myself. And here's the original. Standard black. Got some green on it from the other side. But uh, I'm going to go paint the other side, and then we're going to be done. Thank you guys for watching. Special thanks to my brother recording. And uh, just real quick, if the playing area, just to show you, some people are, might need a different type of camouflage depending on the area that they're playing. Um, if you have anything like this, you might want to do this. Uh, snow, depending on the end of the year, whatever. So rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll make another video soon.